Are you all right? Ah, I think that answers my question. We've accomplished our objectives as well. Lisa's unit should be advancing upon the fire control center in the command tower. Let us join them. Lise! Thank the Twelve you're all right. And you. There's the control center. Let's hit them hard and fast. Ready? It was you, wasn't it? WASN'T IT?! Aye. I gave the order to fire. It was over! The Skulls had surrendered, no one else had to die, and you killed them! Your own people! Your own comrades! You're right! I killed them! Ansfred, Rudolf, Emlyn, all the rest! Trained and fought with every last one of them. Good soldiers to a man. I gave the order that led to their deaths. And I knew exactly what I was doing. But why? Why would you do that? They died so that all Alamegans could live free. That was all we ever wanted. We made a promise that we would do whatever it took so that one day, one day, the Imperials would learn to accept us. But everything comes at a price. And if you haven't got the means to pay, then you pay with blood. Service guarantees citizenship, but citizenship guarantees not. It's not enough to do your part, oh no. You have to run faster, fight harder, kill more and more and more, and only then will you be equal. That's just how it is out here in the provinces. You buy your freedom with blood. There is no other way. Shut up! Shut your mouth! You don't get to talk about freedom! You killed your own! They trusted you, and you killed them! Murderer! Butcher! Traitor! I know what you can do. I've already seen it. Alize! Even so, the odds are against me. for the royal hunt to be hosted at the palace. You may bring your horde, if you like. All are welcome.
She'll be all right, but we'll need to carry her. Will you help me? Thank you. Lise, I leave matters here in your hands. Uh, right. I wanted to show you this house. My house. You mean, this is where you grew up? Aye. Not much to look at, is it? Same could be said of the village. It was damn near impossible to live off the land, barren as it was. Which is why so many of us traded our plowshares for swords. Swords and uniforms, mind. We became military men. Tensions were rising between Alamigo and the Empire, and there was always a need for more soldiers to watch the border. It was only a matter of time before the first skirmishes broke out. It's a frightening thing to face Magitek armor for the first time. But after a lot of trial and error, we found ways to bring them down. After a few victories, people even said I had a knack for it. And then one day they hit us. Hard. I was wounded and sent home to recover. Back here. Will you remain silent for fear of the Mad King's vengeance? Of his eyes and ears in the shadows and his knives in the dark? You who call this living dishonor our nation? It is but a slow death. Liberty or death? Liberty or death? If this be your creed, then raise up your hands, raise up your voices! Together we will tear Theodoric from the throne! Together we will reclaim our freedom! Send you home to men, did they? Aye, sir. Garlian's got the better of us. The... the Chirurgeons say I'm healing well. So it won't be long now. Liberty or death, is it? Tell me, soldier. 
What do you think those words mean? We... we must needs be willing to die for liberty. Spoken like a true patriot. But liberty should not be the end in of itself. Liberty is a chance to build something better. A stronger, more prosperous home for our people. It's not quick or easy work. And it is never truly finished. But if you neglect it, then sooner or later, you look up to find you've traded one tyrant for another. Well, sir, I, I've never asked for much. Never wanted to live like a king, just wish it were a little bit easier is all. For me and everyone else. And I'm... I'm willing to die for that, if that's what it takes. Dying is easy, soldier. Living is harder. Rest, mend. Regain your strength. You'll need it in the days to come. And may at one day we will need it too. Conrad chose you as his successor, Lees, and I will not gainsay his decision. I have but one question to ask. Liberty or death? Those were Curtis's words and his creed. Will you swear by your father's creed before your comrades and the gods? Liberty or death? That's all you can hope for in war. Father understood that. And you want to know if I do too? I swear to you, here and now, I will fight until the end. Be it liberty or be it death. But the freedom we win must be for every Alamegan, even ones like Fordola, though they may hate us, and the Ananta, though they may fear us. We'll fight and we'll talk, and we'll find a way to make it work for all of us. Compared to all that, retaking our home will seem like the easy part. Mm. A good oath, and there is naught else to say. You are indeed your father's daughter, 